Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for the 26th. So, yeah, this is just a message from my guides for you. I don't know who this message is for. All right, we're just going to see what comes up. I'm going to start right here. Well, transformation. This is the death card. So, yeah, I mean, this is change. This is release. This is a major change. This is something ending and something new beginning. This is a time of transformation. New beginnings, really. All right. So, this is also, I mean, this is the, this is the death of something. It is. Something has come to an end. Or it's about to. I mean, in reality, this is a death. This death leads to a major transformation. It leads to a major life change. It leads to a new beginning. It leads to starting fresh. So, yeah, we have an ending here. It's going to propel you forward pretty quickly, all right? Whatever this ending is, whatever this transformation is that you have gone through or you are about to experience or you are experiencing right now is going to propel you forward, okay? It's going to move you forward into something better. It really, really is. These, The Eight of Wands is also the rods of love, okay? So it's going to help you. It's going to bring you to a place of more emotional fulfillment. Really it is. This is all happening so that you can grow emotionally. So that you can get what you deserve. So that you can follow your dreams. So that you can really live the life that you are supposed to live. There could be some new, some messages going back and forth today about an ending. You may hear about it, okay? You may be hearing about, you know, somebody's release, somebody's transformation. You know, some people could be talking about it with that Eight of Wands, okay? There's messages. That's messages going back and forth. Somebody's been ready for a while. They've been ready ready for this change one card please forgiveness holding on to resentment and anger is preventing or even suffocating your spiritual growth resentment is one of the strongest and most damaging of human emotions the act of forgiveness in its own right is equally incredibly powerful and in its in, in, and it has the capacity to heal and transform so it's a time of forgiveness yes something has died and that can absolutely bring about resentment especially if you were in love, especially if you, you know, were consumed by it, maybe you were obsessed with it, maybe, you know, it was part of your life for a really long time. And when the emotion dies or when the situation comes to an end, it does bring about resentment and bitterness. But like this card says, it is the most damaging emotion that we have. It really is. It, it 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 causes you to withdraw it causes you to be emotion, emotionally cold it causes people to shy away from you because they're intimidated by your coldness you know they can feel it they can feel the tension within your body that you are harboring the best thing they can see it they can see it in your body language in reality if you just forgave and accepted that there was a bigger purpose, that there was a bigger reason why something ended. Perhaps you were being protected, whatever the case happened, whatever happened. 
If you hold on to that grudge, you will be the one that suffers. Trust me. It's a time to forgive. Accept and release. The resentment and the anger is suffocating your spiritual growth. It's suffocating you. I got the goosebumps throughout my whole body. Like the hair is standing up on my arms. The act of forgiveness in its own right is equally incredibly powerful. And it has the capacity to heal and transform. The very last word is transform. Transformation. Once you forgive and let go of that resentment and that hate and that anger, your new life will begin. Four of Swords reversed. Well, you know, this is the death of an idea. This is a death as well. It really is. And I know a lot of people don't want, don't think a tarot reader should say that word. I'm not your typical tarot reader. I don't go by the books. We already know that. Anyhow, we have somebody that here that has grown very, 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 very much exhausted to the point of collapsing. And you know why? Four, th these are thoughts. Swords are thoughts. Because of their negative thinking, their hate, their anger, no kidding, has caused mental exhaustion, stress. Then that's what it says. It's the most damaging because this is what it causes, mental exhaustion to the extreme. Four of Swords Reverse is extremely exhausted. Isolating themselves. Somebody's got health issues because of their resentment. Stress kills. A lot of frustrations here. Somebody is very frustrated. It's time to live again. Faith. This is the Hierophant card. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Oh, the Tower reversed. Ooh, somebody's been avoiding change. Avoiding this realignment, right? I mean, that's what the tower reversed is. Trying to avoid the realignment. Trying to avoid this universal change. Throwing away a golden opportunity. Not believing when they need to believe that there is a higher plan. There's a higher purpose. You need to believe. You need to have faith that the universe, the divine, knows what it's doing. We got somebody here that doesn't have faith. That's for damn sure. This is a loss. Ace of Pentacles. Loss of stability. Loss of security. This is a loss of stability as well. The tower reversed. And this is about to collapse. So something is about to freaking collapse. There's some, Something is unstable. And insecure. And they're about to collapse. Or something is about to collapse. It's, it's no longer secure in any way, shape, or form. Okay? It's not. And you need to believe and have faith that whatever is happening, whatever ending this is or was, was divinely guided. There's a higher power here. King of Cups reversed. Could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Or you could just be dealing with any person that is emotionally withdrawn. This person cannot really communicate at this time. This person cannot master their emotions. This person is very emotional or their lack thereof has no emotion. This person is literally emotionally unavailable. There's no love to be given at this point. Shutting down emotionally. We have somebody that is shutting down their emotionally, isolating themselves because of hate and anger and bitterness. Ooh, the chariot. 
chariot. This is mastering your emotions and putting yourself in the driver's seat. Taking the lead, taking the reins, changing your direction. This is another card of transformation. It really is. So now we have two transformation cards. This is taking back control. Quickly taking back control. Quickly getting in the driver's seat. Ooh, the star reversed. Oh, right under the faith card. Imagine that. The star reversed right under that faith card. Lack of faith. The star card. No hope. No hope. Despair. We'll get into this in a minute. Six of coins. Oh, queen of cups reversed. And the hermit. Isolation. To somebody has really been isolating themselves or they're about to. You know, sometimes when you go through such a big transformation, you need to isolate yourself. So I feel that this is, and it's funny that I started this reading out in silence. You remember that? How I didn't speak at the beginning of the reading? And I didn't know. I just go by, the, I am their counselor, okay? I am their messenger, okay? The reading started out with silence. This day will probably be a day of silence. Okay, that's what I see. And the goosebumps, the hair is standing right up. I don't know if you can see it. Anyway, um, this will be a day of silence. Lack of communication. I think it's because somebody is probably, they can no longer avoid a loss. Avoid the fact, the truth, that there has been an actual loss here. I feel like, you know, we have somebody here that is going to be finding their inner strength to take back control of their negative thoughts, to take back control of their their ideas, their thinking, you know, take to change their thoughts. Okay, transform your thoughts. Okay. So at the beginning of the day probably, you know, you're you'll wake up exhausted. It which you usually do, right? But I think things move very quickly. So you wake up and you're, you're, you're still very exhausted because it's like you didn't even sleep. It's like you didn't even sleep because, you know, you got so much on your mind. You're thinking too much. You know, you, you're, 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 you're thinking about everything that happened, you, you know, whatever. And I feel as though th as, as, af as you wake up, you know, things start to change very quickly. I think we have somebody here that starts to master their emotions and, and decides that there's no, there's no, uh, wish fulfillment living this this life you know living in this old way you know so I feel like we have somebody here that decides to take action very quickly it's like you know what I gotta I gotta believe I gotta have faith I gotta trust that there's a reason so it's like somebody gets almost like an epiphany that there's a reason there's a reason it's like this it's like this is a day of forgiveness it is I'm going to bring balance back to my life. I'm going to rebalance out my my thoughts and what I need to do to to regain stability in my life because there's been a loss of stability. There's been a loss of security. There's been a loss of something that, you know, was tangible at one time. You it's not it's gone. It's gone. It's no longer there. But this it has all happened because you are going to receive something else, you know. You're going to receive something else. You are. But you got to believe that. you got to have trust. you got to have faith that, you know, whatever this dead end was, the Four of Swords is a dead end, okay? Whatever this dead end was, you know, it all happened because you are going to receive something else. So I feel like this is a day of not communicating, not extending your emotions to anybody. It's a day of isolation. I'm not... I mean, it really is. It really is. And I, I feel like it is that way because you, you, it comes to a point where you have to give to yourself. You have to take a time out. You have to take a break to recover, to recuperate, to refocus, to, you know, figure out what went wrong and how you're going to change it, transform the, your, for the next time. So anyway, I feel like today is a day of thinking about the previous faults 
foundations and false contracts and false uh, securities that you have engaged in and taking ownership. I feel like this is a day of taking ownership in your part and forgiving the other party, you know, with faith and trust that this has all happened for a reason. You know, it made you into the person you are today. It built your character. So I feel like today is a day of of introspection. It's a day of of letting what has died, you know, go you know it is it's it's putting yourself in the driver's seat and mastering your emotions and having faith replacing that fear with faith i mean that's what the chariot is replacing that fear with faith that you know there's something better coming i know there's something better coming so i you know i feel like we have uh it's gonna be, it's definitely an emotional day it's an emotional day there could be some tears that are shed on this day as we accept that you know Something is over and we are going through some sort of major life change because this is a major life change. Um, it is. It is. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, six major cards. It's definitely major. This is universally driven. The universe has stepped in to change somebody's path and the person that, you know, who that they are working with needs to release the resent and the anger that they are harboring over this loss, you know, and this could go all the way back to your childhood, okay, I feel as though somebody needs to believe in the higher power, have faith, believe, 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 you know, I think that this was protection, and you may not believe, understand that it was protection, but it was they have something they have something for you that you are you are going to receive something but in order to receive whatever it is that you are meant to receive you have to have faith and let go of the insecure insecure foundation or the insecure structure or the insecure you know whatever it was false sense of security that you were holding on to so i feel like today is the day where somebody you know takes that time to withdraw from the world and go within to forgive and release and that is what I got good luck